I hope once the weather starts warming up, it will it will it will help. You know, I don't know if it will. I think I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that's gonna help it. I, I think it will. I hope it does. Um, Taylor and I are training our dog not to jump on the couch. Dude, our dog is the most spoiled fucking dog in the world. I, I blame it on me a lot. I really do. I love I, I love my dog. And, you know, I never really see her. I'm like the stepdad, you know. I only come in the picture when I, like, visit. But that's very rare. I only pop into the, the picture very rarely a few times, you know. And then when I am there, I, like, I just spoil the shit out of her. I gave her so many hugs, so many kisses. I feed her too much food. I let her jump around everywhere. But it's gotten to the point now where Taylor and I have to team up like dog parents and we got to lay down the law. You know, we're like not letting her jump wherever she wants. We're not letting her do whatever she wants all the time now. And it's really hard for me. And she's really good at it. And I'm a bad dog dad. And I want to be a good dog dad. I don't want to be a bad dog dad. But I got to realize being a, da- a bad dog dad doesn't mean you just let your dog do whatever it wants to do. Being a good dog dad requires you to uh to lay down the law have some discipline around the house and you can't just be letting that fucking mutt run run wild you know can't be doing that shit 